Hey folks, Professor K here with a quick tip on how to enable advanced tools in your toolbar so that your uh, user interface looks like mine while I'm teaching. So first of all, what I want to do is make sure that you are on window and workspace and essentials. Please make sure that you're there first if you're not already. So if you see a toolbar like this, the reason why it happens is because in a recent Adobe Illustrator update, they changed it so that fewer options show for beginners. So when you're freshly installing Illustrator, you might only see certain tools here. For example, and this is normally the rectangle tool here when you first install. And if I click and hold, you'll notice that I have rectangle, ellipse, polygon, star, and line segment, but the rounded rectangle tool is missing. So you might be like, where'd the rounded rectangle tool go? Another example is underneath the type. You may only see type on a path and vertical type here. And you might say, oh, Professor K, but I wanted to use the area type like you were using. To get to those tools, you need to enable those advanced toolbar options. So I'm going to demonstrate that one more time. If your toolbar looks like this with the simplified set and you're missing some tools, try going down to this bottom, three dots, edit toolbar, click once. You'll see that there's a whole bunch of extra stuff in here. Don't worry about any of that. Just go right up to the top to this little menu right here across from all tools. Click that and hit advanced. And that's how you'll get a toolbar exactly like mine with all of those fun tools. Let's watch this again. Underneath rectangle, now we have the rounded rectangle. And then underneath our type tool, we now have area type plus a few others. Oh, and touch type. Touch type is here now too. So if you're having trouble finding some tools in your toolbar, that's probably what's happening. You can also use this little arrow button here to change whether it is vertically stacked or stacked in a row of two. I prefer a row of two because I have lots of space on my desktop, but if you don't have as much space, you can always collapse it and get the single row instead. This same trick works for Photoshop as well. It's just a little bit different. Over here, you can see the three dots, edit toolbar, and you can click that. And now you'll be able to add and subtract tools from your toolbar. Generally speaking, I think the ones that show in Photoshop are about right. It's mostly Illustrator that has this problem. So I hope that helps you out. I hope that gets you all set up with the right tools in Illustrator. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you can't find something in one of my tutorials because that's how I know to post these videos. So with that, have a great time and I will see you later.